Hi, in this lecture we are going to see about the parallel serial outship registers. What is meant by parallel serial outship registers? Here we are using the parallel serial outship registers. The data is applied in a parallel form to the parallel input pins DA to DT of the register. Here we are using the four flip flop. The first flip flop is called as the A flip flop. The fourth flip flop is called as the D flip flop. All the inputs can be loaded in this four flip flop respective inputs DA to DD. It is then read out sequentially from the register one bit at a time from DA to DD on each clock cycle in a serial format. What is the meaning of that one? We are going to apply the each and every clock pulse. The parallel loaded data can be shifted from one by one. Here one clock pulse is enough to load the four bit of data but in a four pulses are needed to unload the all the four bits. This is the construction of the parallel in serial out shift register. Here we are using the logic gates. The main function of the parallel in serial out shift register here we are using the one control signal. This control signal is controlling the parallel input and serial output. Then the NOT gate outputs are connected to G1, G2 and G3. The other input of the G1, G2, G3 is the input B, C, D and A is directly connected to the DA. The direct control signal is connected to the G4, G5 and G6. One more input of the G4, G5, G6 is the QA output that means the first flip flop output is connected to the G4. The second flip flop output is connected to the G5 and third flip flop output is connected to the G6. This R gate output is connected to the input of the second flip flop. This R gate output is connected to the third flip flop. This R gate output is connected to the D flip flop. All the flip flops to be connected in a single clock pulse. This is the positive edge clock pulse. The fourth flip flop output is a serial data output. Now we are going to see the how the data to be loaded. Here we are choosing the my data is becomes 1, 1, 0, 1. This is my data. Now we are going to apply the control signal becomes 0. The NOT gate output becomes 1. That time what is happened here? G1, G2 and G3 are enabled. That time all the inputs to be loaded to here. And after that this R gate is also enabled. We are going to load this value to here. We are going to apply the control signal value becomes 0, the, the data to be loaded in this input of the each flip flop. Now we are going to change the control signal becomes 1, that time G4, G5, G6 are enabled. Now we are going to apply the clock pulse. What is happened here? We are going to apply the clock pulse, the data to be shifted to here to here. At the same time, this one is moving from here to here. This zero is moving from here to here. This one is moving from here to here. This is the parallel in serial out shift registers. This is the table of the parallel in serial out shift register. Now my control signal is becomes zero. The data to be loaded. The data is become one one zero one. Now we are going to apply the control signal value becomes one. We are going to apply the first clock pulse. The data to be shifted as like that. QA becomes 1, QB becomes 1, QC becomes 1 and QD becomes 1. This QD is the data output. Next we are going to second clock pulse. This, this 1 is shifted to here, this 1 is shifted to here, this 0 is shifted to here. This is the new data entry. Next third clock pulse. This 0 is shifted to here, this 1 is shifted to here, this 1 is shifted to here. After the 4th clock pulse, this 0 is shifted to here, this 0 is shifted to here, this 1 is shifted to here. This is the timing diagram of the parallel in serial of shift register. Here we are using the positive edge flip flop. Now we are going to apply the first clock pulse. All the data to be shifted from QA, QB, QZ and QD. After the second clock pulse, this 1 is moving from here, here to here and after the third clock pulse this one is moving from here to here after the fourth clock pulse this one is moving from here to here. The final data output become 1011 one, one. 
after the fourth clock pulse only we are getting the final result thank you